Someone asked me why I put a GPS in a Protec 35. Well, I put it because sometimes I fly a little bit far and because I use a DJI remote control, <coughs> a remote controller. Uh, sometimes you lose a little bit of a, single, a signal and, uh, you know, it's not so nice to crash and also walking away to pick up your drone. Uh, the other reason there is, you know, some people they want to fly uh, very, far, uh, very far away and they have also crossfire, maybe. And uh, the video, you know, is digital or it's analog, sometimes, uh, you know, doesn't go so far. Maybe a kilometer or a mile, maybe more than that, depends on the environment and what you have in front of you. Now, how I connect this GPS to Protect 35? Well, I'm going to show you in a bit. I have to take the top plate out and also how I connect it. And also I'm going to put uh, a, a link from where you can download this STL file. Uh, basically, I took two STL files and I merged, merged them together from the original one with the GPS for uh, this one, I think so. Uh, I don't remember, it's 180 BN 180, I think so. If I don't gonna make a mistake. Uh, and I merged them together to can be put with the GPS, with the crossfire, also with the DJI antennas. Uh, I don't put the balance, oh, no, the balance, sorry, the ST60, the connector, but we're gonna be soon enough uh, available available over there in the in the Tinkerverse uh, because it's much easier to you know, st stay this one straight and just connect the battery. Anyway, let's take the top plate out and see how I connect uh, the GPS to the flight controller. Okay, so now because we take out the top plate, uh, basically you have the flight controller. I think so. This one is also in uh, Protect 25. I am not sure, but if it's the same. Um, board like Beast F7 45 amps, I think so they are the same layout of the pads and everything. Uh, so you have some UARTs over here, UART 4, uh, UART 7, uh, UART 1 and I think so UART 2 and UART uh, 3 I think so for the DJI, uh, if I'm not making a mistake here. Anyway, you can use UART4, UART7 or UART1. Okay, let me bring it a little bit closer. Oh, let's move those things around. I don't think so I'm going to be able to do it in a GoPro. But I'm going to put a picture on, uh, on here to show you exactly. So here there is a TX, a Rex, where you can uh, connect the GPS the TXRX, so the TX from the GPS is going to RX and the RX from the GPS is going to the TX so doesn't have to match one with another TX to RX, RX to the TX you can use uh, UART4, UART7 or UART1 now if you have a crossfire uh, I think so the, uh, we, the crossfire is connected to the UART4 you have to use the UART7 uh, or UART1, but this one it's a little bit in the corner and I don't know if you can uh, solder right here on those small pads. Uh, you can use the UART7. Uh, now you have only one ground and one 5 volts. Uh, this one is for the lights in the back and this one here is for the GPS, but also you can solder on the top of those if you have the TBS crossfire, they're going to be connected here and uh, here they're going to take the voltage and you can just, you know, stick it on top of those, but make sure it doesn't bridge to each other or bridge with the other ones or bridge with the other ones. If you, have, uh, if you have analog, I think so, there is a camera right here in the bottom or you're going to connect it. Uh, so that's the, the way I connected here, the GPS and uh, the settings in the in the beta flight, I will gonna put it right here uh, now and show you exactly what kind of settings I do it for the UART4 and also what you can do for the UART7. Uh, so let's jump in beta flight and show you the settings for the, the way I do it in UART4. But it's gonna be the same thing for the UART7. So now let's connect the Protec. 
35 <coughs> uh, in the ports for me in my case for the UART4 I just set up here GPS that's it save and reboot if you use the UART7 you just connect here GPS save and reboot if you use the UART1 exactly in the corner over there you have to use it over here the GPS uh, in the configuration after you select over here which we, which you are to use it save and reboot you go to the configuration go a little bit down and set up GPS over here uh, in my case I use a uh, uBlox chip so if you use something else you just selected the specific one for your uh, GPS uh, autoband no I just use auto configuration uh, use only Galileo because I'm only in Europe so that's for me uh, auto detect and save and reboot in the fail save I uh, just uh, stick with the standard options over here basically 50 meters high I don't want to go more than that all the other stuff they are just basically stock uh, the only thing I change from uh, minimum satellites from 8 to 5 because 5 I think so there is enough and uh, to can arm the quad and later on they're gonna take more than 5 like 7, 6, whatever maybe I can take 20 I don't know the other thing that I change uh, from the maximum altitude I, I put it to the fixed altitude that means it's gonna go 50 meters high and after come back and when it's close to me, like 200 meters, you're gonna descend slowly, slowly. Uh, if you don't fly so high all the time and you don't want your quad to go so high, you just select the maximum altitude. But be careful. If you have trees enough, like 10 meters, 20 meters, I don't know, a building maybe it's 25 meters, uh, use a fixed altitude. Put a number here, like, I don't know, maybe the building is 30 meter, you put here 50 to can fly over that building if you lose connections with a, with a quad. Uh, this one I leave it normal, I don't change it over here, uh, it's very safe only or I just leave it on. Uh, this one here is for arming without fixing the GPS. So that's mean when you don't have a number of five satellites, you can arm and fly. But when you flip the, flip the switch or you lose the signal with the, with the remote control, the drone is going to come back. You're going to just crash because you don't have the, the fixed GPS, doesn't know where is the home position. If you don't check this one and leave it how it is right now, unchecked, you're not going to be able to arm your quad until you're going to have minimum five satellites and the GPS is fixed. That means it knows the position uh returning to home i use this one i'm gonna wait around one one and a half minute to take the five satellites and after i am happy to fly because i know it's gonna come back if i don't gonna use it like let's suppose to say i'm gonna go in the building and fly i'm gonna just select drop and i go in the configuration and uncheck the GPS. You have an application in your phone, you just need a USB and the OTG cable and you can do this one in less than one minute. Uh, on the modes, uh, basically I just put the AUX4 and the GPS Rescue also the AUX4. Uh, I don't test right now exactly if I'm gonna turn off my radio, you're gonna come back or not because I use a DJI remote control so I'm gonna test that and if something happened or something gonna be wrong I will gonna put a short video and I cannot put up in the corner card uh, and check it out if it's something wrong or down in the comment section uh, I'm gonna write yeah don't do that or do this it's okay until then what to say I don't know just you know if I help you that's okay if not I'm sorry just you know subscribe like and share it with other friends if you have that problem or anything else anyway thank you very much for watching and see you next time